Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So Samsung has finally released the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, which is a much better upgrade than the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite and the Note 10 Lite. The Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite and Note 10 Lite came with a very weird compromises and different camera options and different processor options and even with the plastic back which was not worth it. Uh, and also the pricing was fine but the compromises that came with the prices was not worth it so samsung has released the samsung galaxy s20 fe with the snapdragon 865 with the 120 hz display and the 4500 mAh battery and with an amoled display and a usb type c and triple cameras and the ultra wide angle camera as well and even though this phone also has a polycarbonate back but it's much it's much more worth it than the note s10 light and the note 10 light and even like because uh, in 2020 because of the covid 19 pandemic most people are, are really looking for more value for money and i think this phone the s20 fe provides a much more better value for money for the people trying to get uh, to look for a phone that they're going to keep for a long time and that will be updated frequently and most probably this phone will be also getting three years of software updates from samsung This is a phone that Samsung much really needed to release because the S20 phones, they, uh, especially the S20 Ultra had uh, some problems with its camera. The Note 20 Ultra is a very nice upgrade than that but it is very expensive and the S10 FE is around $700 and that is the kind of price that most people are looking for. And I think it is worth it and especially because like it it comes also with a 120 hertz display refresher which nobody wants to lose and it's a very once somebody uses it then nobody wants to go back so so i think it is a very nice kind of a phone and also samsung has uh, also announced that from now onwards it will release more fe phones of its flagship which is a much more good news like if you're looking to not buy the uh, flagship s phones then at least you you will know that you know that there is uh, an FE version of the phone coming out sometime later in the year so you can wait and buy that one which will give you more value for money and as if some people are uh, not uh, some people are confused on the fact that why Samsung has released a phone with a Snapdragon 865 not the 865 plus it's because 865 plus is not mostly right now reserved for the flagships right now that are coming out right now and the 865 is not that old it just came out in the beginning of the year and even the flagship Galaxy S phones are using the Snapdragon 865, so it's not that much of a difference. I think it is a very much, uh, it is a very uh, nice phone that Samsung released, and that's my opinion on it. Thank you, Allah Hafiz.